Hey everybody, Ron Bulefell, Whistling Wings Photography. I did a video just a week ago or so concentrating on the Canon R3's autofocus system. I've gotten quite a few comments, emails and stuff about that video and one of the persistent questions, comments, has to do with subject tracking, which is of course a big part of the autofocus system of the R3. So, I decided to do this follow-up video, and we're going to concentrate this time on subject tracking, turning it on, turning it off, the different ways you can do that. Also, the difference in behavior if you turn it on one way versus another. How about those white arrows that pop up around the white box when you're in subject tracking, allow you to do certain things sometimes, other times not. So, if you're interested in knowing more, about how the subject tracking works in the Canon R3. Stay tuned. Okay, so we are talking about subject tracking and also switching between tracked subjects, especially when it has to do with eye detect. So I'm starting out in the autofocus menu because we have to set up some things here and I want to show you a little bit about how you can turn subject tracking on and off. There are a couple different ways to do it. And they also, depending on how you turn it on and off, like I said in the introduction, they don't work exactly the same or behave exactly the same. So in the first autofocus menu here, autofocus menu one, we have servo on, servo autofocus. Autofocus area is set to zone. That's whole area zone for this demonstration. The second, is, the third part is subject tracking. Right now it's on. Subject to detect is animals because I'm going to show you pretty much what I've been finding with birds and then switching track subjects. Well, eye detection first, and that's enabled because you have to have that enabled for the uh, arrows to pop up around the pre focus box for subject tracking to let you select between the eyes that you want to focus on. And then the last part of this is switch subjects that you're tracking, which is switching tracked subjects. And I have it set to two right now, but let's go ahead and put it on one. Just put it in the middle so we can see what a middle setting, kind of a middle of the road setting would do. Okay, so now let's talk quickly about turning subject tracking on and off. On the front of the camera, there is a button that Canon calls multifunction two button and we can get out of here and go over to custom buttons real quick and I will be able to demonstrate which button that is. So now I'm on the multifunction 2 button and it's highlighted there in the schematic just so you know the only reason I'm doing this is just so you know which button I'm talking about. So now let's go back to the autofocus menu and we can hit that multifunction 2 button and you can see it brings up a menu and the multifunction 2 button there down on the bottom left it shows that subject tracking is on. If I hit it again you can see it toggles to off. So this is a very quick way to turn subject tracking on and off. What I'm doing is just pressing the multifunction 2 button, toggling from on to off, on to off, rather than going into the menu. So that's one way you can do it. The other way that you can do it is to have it off in the menu by either going to the menu and turning it off, subject tracking off, or using the multifunction 2 button and having it off like it is now, and then having programmed a toggle to the, I have it programmed to the multifunction button up near the shutter button. So now if I hit that, 
you can see if you see the little icon pop up on that center decoys eye right there. That's when I'm turning subject tracking on via the multifunction button that I have set to turn subject tracking on and off. Now you'll notice that if I turn that off and I go to the multifunction button and turn it on, a box goes around the middle decoys eye again, but it looks different. It's not a double box like that. So what I just did was hit my multifunction button even though subject tracking is turned on via the menu and I used the multifunction 2 button for that. If it's on and I hit my multifunction button which is set to toggle subject tracking on and off, it changes the way the box looks. Does it change the behavior of subject tracking? So you're going to say what's the difference between having just subject tracking on with a single box via the menu or via the multifunction 2 button on the front of the cam camera on the front, I can't talk today on the front of the camera or by switching to this double box. Well, you notice if you keep on the single box and you move toward another bird's eye toward the center, it switches to that other eye quite quickly once you get to the center like that like that and then like that so it's switching pretty quickly between these eyes that are getting toward the center of the frame it seems if I turn the double box on and I start moving toward the other decoy it doesn't want to switch it wants to stay on the original subject's eye that it found. Now it will eventually go like it just did, but notice the double box went away. If I go double box again and come back, it doesn't want to switch. The arrows come up, and we'll talk about that in a minute because I could switch over to that eye of the bird on the right by going ahead and using the multi-controller, the thumb joystick. But that seems to be, to me, the difference between being here, single box, boom, it wants to jump, 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 double box, not jumping, not jumping, not jumping, until it goes to a single box and you move way away from the original subject. So that seems to be the difference between having it turned on with the multifunction button, and that's an assignment through the customized buttons menu, versus just having subject tracking on like it is now using the multifunction 2 button or through the menu. So now let's talk about switching eyes. So if we come over here, we've got subject tracking on and we have eye detection on, obviously. And now when we're on my little owl here and there's two eyes in the frame that are in the same focal plane pretty much, once those arrows are up, you use the multi-controller and I can easily switch between the two eyes. And all I'm doing now is pressing the multi-controller left and then right, left and then right. So that's pretty easy and it works pretty well, really well actually, when you have two eyes that are very close together. When you have eyes like, and let me back up, when you have this situation and the eyes are pretty much in the same focal plane, I'm not quite sure why you'd want to switch between either, you know, if it picks up one of the eyes, that's going to be good enough for me, for birds most of the time. For people and stuff like that, I don't know. But for birds and what I want to do, that doesn't seem to be super important. What is more important to me is, let's say, these three ducks that are swimming. And now let's go ahead and click and get it to where it's going to easily switch to that center bird. Okay, so now what I want is I want to pick, instead of that center bird, I want to go to the right bird. But you notice with just a single box and that's just subject tracking, it pops up every once in a while, but not until I get really close to the other bird already do the arrows come up, or it'll just go ahead and switch over without even using the arrow, having a chance to use the arrow. So that doesn't seem to do me much good, wanting to go from, let's say, that bird to that bird. By the time the arrows pop up, you're already there. 
and subject tracking just already grabs that bird. And of course, I'm not focusing right now. That's why the boxes are staying uh, white. I can easily hit the back button here and start focusing on whatever eye that it goes to. But I'm talking about kind of the pre-focusing and how the subject tracking is working with this selection uh, scenario or built-in ability that it has to switch birds. Now you can see the double arrows are there now and if I press the multi-controller, well now they went away. Um, I'd love when I'm on a center bird like this to be able to pick one or the other but it just doesn't really give me that that chance. I wish it would put the arrows up there right now and tell me I could go right or left but it doesn't really give me that. If I go and turn on the double box by hitting my multifunction button, does it do anything different? Um, doesn't look like it's going to give me the double. There, it finally gave me the double arrows, but I'm trying. There, I finally was able to use the multi controller to switch to the right hand bird. But heck, I was already there with the center of the frame, so it doesn't seem to give me much of, a, of an advantage. Now, there, I, when I was moving back over to the left again, the double arrows came up. I used the multi controller, it went from the right decoy to the left to the center bird actually. But again, I was almost already there. So again, this doesn't seem, there I was able to do it, there I was able to do it. But you see how close I have to get before the arrows pop up? And even then, I mean, I'm already there. So I could easily just use center, center spot autofocus with tracking on it and and do it that way so for me this is this is where i would have it would have been nice to be able to pick between birds i can turn it off i just hit the multi-function button and now we're in just regular subject tracking but see now it goes to the background it's it's saying i could go left or right but it doesn't really give me a, a chance to do anything it doesn't do it um, I was really wanting this function with these arrows coming up, if I have a flock of ducks on the water, three birds like this, to be able to be on the center bird, let's say, and have the arrows there, and let me go left or right, whichever one I wanted, and it would put the pre-focus box on, on the one I want, and then I could focus on it, and, and away we'd go. But it doesn't seem to work that way, and that's kind of a bummer. So now I can go over there now, but again, I'm three quarters, if not more, away over to that bird already. And I'm, I'm using the multi-controller. It's not flipping right over to it. See, the arrows are there now. And I can move over there. Now, if again, if I turn it off, if I turn the double boxes off, hitting my multi-function button up by the shutter button, does it give me the arrows anytime sooner, or does it just flip right over? It's not giving me... There, the arrows are... Yeah, but it won't let me really go. It just kind of goes on its own. So that really seems to be the difference in the behavior. I have my very right hand back button set up to be spot with tracking and I can just do that, boom, and I can just move over there and boom, got it, boom, got it, boom, got it, boom, got it, boom, got it. You know, so these arrow things just don't seem to be very, when you're doing this between something with eyes very close together works fine. If you've got eyes spread out all over the frame, Heck, it just, that's just jumping on its own right there. So I don't know. I, it just doesn't really seem to, to work uh, the way I would want it to work for birds. Maybe for people, maybe for, for dogs, cats, things like that. Owls being a bird where they're, you know, if you got one bird with two eyes on the same focal plane, it seems to be very good at that. But if they're on the same focal plane anyway, for the most part, I don't see why picking one eye would be, <laughs> you know, advantageous over the other. So, anyway, that's really what I wanted to show in this video. And I hope I didn't confuse you too much there. So let's go over it one more time. You can use the multifunction 2 button to turn the subject tracking on and off. And that actually is working within the main menu, autofocus menu. So if you have, if it's off here, you go to the main menu, it'll be off there. If you use the multifunction two button here and you turn it on, it'll be turned on in the uh, main autofocus uh, menu as well. 
So that's the on and off part. Now that's one way, and then you can use the multifunction button up by the uh, shutter button if you want to map that button or any other button on the camera to do a toggle between subject tracking on and off. That gets you to the double boxes. And that, I'm sure there's a technical name for that, but I don't know what it is. You know, when I don't know something, I'm going to tell you. <laughs> I don't really know what it, what the technical term for the double boxes is versus the single white box, uh, pre-focused box. But, you know, that's that's when the that's when the arrows and you can use the multifunction button seems to be uh, functional. What I really want is to be here, turn on the double boxes, give me arrows left and right, let me pick the one left or right. It doesn't do that. It doesn't do that. Uh, right now I can't pick the one to the right. I can pick the one to the left, but it's still not even letting me do that. So this is really where the functionality would be for me, is to go from this bird here to right or left and it doesn't even really give me that opportunity. And I've gone through and changed the switch track subject between initial priority all the way to switch subject, and that doesn't seem to have any effect on this behavior whatsoever. All right, so I'll get out of the menu system and get back on camera here and we'll finish up. Okay, so I hope my explanation made enough sense for you to make heads or tails about what I was talking about when it comes to subject tracking. And now you know what all these guys were here for in, in the introduction. So it's really hard to show this kind of stuff and demonstrate it out in the, in the field when birds are moving all over the place and you can't keep things kind of close together and, and under control. So I decided to use decoys and my little owl friend here to try to demonstrate you know, how subject tracking works, how you can turn it on and off, and then those neat little white arrows that pop up, again, for something like this little guy, you can pop back and forth between their eyes real easily. For something like this, three ducks swimming on the water and you wanna go from the middle to the left, to the right, to the right, to the left, whatever, uh, doesn't work real well for me. Maybe you can get it to work better. And if you can, and you've got something figured out that I haven't figured out, which happens a lot, then please put it in the discussion and other people can learn from you. So until next time, have great light, take great pictures, be safe out there. I'll see you soon.